What is up, my YouTube followers? How's everyone doing? It is the Christmas season. We are, what, about one week or so away from Christmas. And today, I want to talk about giving. Let's go. Welcome to the Jam Session. I am Jason and welcome back to another episode of the Jam Session. Today I decided, you know, because we're in the Christmas season, we're in the giving season, I wanted to talk a little bit about giving. What really inspired me to talk about this today, honestly, is um, Pastor Mike Todd and the Transformation Church. Big ups, big shouts out to them in the middle of a global pandemic. Their church gave away $3.5 million last Sunday to other churches, to people in need, to their members. Like, it was incredible. I think they gave away at least four cars and they uh, gave checks to people to buy homes. They gave checks to churches, to organizations. They gave church to checks to organizations to help fight against um, sex trafficking. Um, they even went to a store, a local small business, and bought all of their inventory of shoes, of custom designed shoes. So these weren't even cheap shoes. They literally bought this woman's entire inventory and then donated all of the shoes to a boy's home, to less fortunate boys that probably will never have the opportunity to buy those type of shoes. And I, I mean, I don't know about anybody that might be watching this that watch that. I've shared some of their clips on my Instagram and I am telling you, it, it inspired me. It really did just to see that that's kingdom. That's what we should be doing, giving. And so I wanted to talk a little bit today about giving from the standpoint that, you know, I know people will look at that and be like, well, you know, they they were able to do it because they have the resources, they have the money to be able to do that. And so they could do those kind of things. We, we're not there yet and we don't have, and maybe, maybe you're not there. If you're a church or a pastor or a leader or just you yourself, maybe you're not there to give away that kind of money or to go buy a bunch of inventory of a, of a store to help them out because of closures and, you know, everything going on with the pandemic. I get that, but I think so many times we get the order mixed up and, and our, and our um, mindset is that if I had the resources, then I would give. And it's almost like we think that receiving activates our giving. So if I'm, if I'm able to receive resources, then I can give. And I think that for me, I think it's twisted. I think we have it wrong. I think we have it backwards. Your receiving does not activate your giving. Your giving activates your receiving. So Transformation Church is able to do that because not because not just because they have the resources, but the reason they have the resources is because they have already made a conscious decision to be givers. They've made the choice that we're going to give. We're going to help our community. We're going to help our members. We're going to help those around us. And they decide because they decided to give resources were then unlocked. I think the Sunday before they did a great faith offering. And it was just crazy to see because people from all over the country and probably all over the world were giving into that offering. And so they were able to have those resources because they chose to be a conduit. And it was something that Mike Todd shared, Pastor Mike Todd shared Sunday. He was like, there's a difference between being a reservoir and a conduit. A reservoir basically means give, give into this and we're going to store up. And then a conduit is like, bring it in to funnel it through. And there's a difference. And, um, and it was so crazy because, uh, you know, I watched their church after I watched my pastor and he was on the same thing talking about us being bridges and there was something that pt said he said that those that wake up in the morning and instead of saying god bless me 
but say, God, how can I be a blessing? He said, those are the people that God can trust. And because he can trust them, those are the people that walk under an open heaven because God trusts that if he gets it to them, he can, if he can get it through them, he'll get it to them. And so they walk under an open heaven because they're not trying to receive, but they're trying to figure out how they can be a blessing. You know, just give you scripture behind it. The Bible says that God gives seed to the sower. And so if you're not a sower, then he does not then he's not giving you seed. And so again, your giving activates your receiving. And I never forget just a personal story. Um, you know, I, back in the day, you know, I say that as if I'm like super old, but back in the day, I used to do tech support for Hewlett Packard. And, um, and when I worked for them, I worked for them for like six years and it was cool. I loved it. I supported a few of their websites, you know, a couple of their business to business sites and different things like that. And, um, and it was cool. And then we fell victim to a lot, what a lot of people fall victim to in the tech industry. Um, they decided to ship our jobs overseas. They could pay them people way less than what they pay us. So, you know, it was a total business move. And um, they had us train those people and then laid us off, you know? And at first I know there was a lot of people that were upset and upset about it and like, man, what does that, you know, what does that mean? And then I sat back and, you know, and I didn't get upset. I was like, you know, it is what it is. It had to happen. And so what I did in that season was I prayed and I asked God, I said, God, I'm not going to ask you for money. That's I could ask you for that because I don't have the job, but I'm not going to ask you for money. What I am going to ask, because I understand biblical principle, I'm going to ask for opportunities to give because I know your word says that you give seed to the sower. So I'm not asking for money. I'm not asking for, for to receive. What I'm asking you for is to give me opportunity to give. And what happened, I kid you not, in that season where I lost my job and didn't have, you know, all I, at that point, all I had was music. All I had was what I was making from gigs. He, I gave more in that season of being laid off of my job than I did when I had a job. God answered the prayer and he was true to his word. He gave seed to the sower because I became a sower. And um, you know, and I really want us to really get that because I think a lot of times we get stuck in that. Well, we want to do that, but we don't have. And I'm saying like, if you would begin to just move in it and do, then God will bring the resources. He will give you whatever you need. And I know a lot of times we don't, we don't do it because we just don't feel like we have we have it to give but again god will take your little and he'll make it much it's not about what you have it's what it's about what god has what he's capable of doing and he just wants to know if you're available to be used and so you know even in this season i have friends <clears throat> that you know are giving to i have a friend josh and uh i'll probably put something up for um i think he's raising money right now for orphanage um in the philippines i think and um i want to say he's trying to raise like 25 or fifty thousand dollars. and i'll probably put a link if you want to give to that you know in this season of giving and even i i look at his story him and i were talking and um he decided he's a photographer and so what he did was in in order to help you know raise money for this he decided to set up blocks of time where people could um, get photo shoots and a certain amount of photo shoots. He's he's basically donating all of the money that he makes from these photo shoots to give to the orphanage. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, no, he doesn't have fifty thousand dollars to give or twenty five thousand dollars himself to give. But he's taking what he has, what he does have. And he's and because of that, the clientele are going to come to him. They like I think all of his slots are probably almost booked out. I'm not sure. I haven't talked to him about if he's all booked out yet, but he was really close. And be, but because he was willing to give what he had, the resources are coming for that. He didn't let it hinder like, oh, well, I don't have $25,000 to give to this orphanage, you know, so I'm just not going to do anything. No, he's taking what he already has, which is his skill set, his gift, like what God gave him to do, his profession to, to generate revenue to give to this thing. And so I'm saying once again, it's almost like you have to give, it's almost like you're giving an opportunity for something to be given into you as you, as you give out, 
And so let your giving activate your receiving. I say it like this. The Red Sea would have never been parted for Moses and the children of Israel had they not went. Had they have chosen to stay in the wilderness, there would have been no reason for God to part the Red Sea. But because they went and they obeyed and they went forward, God parted the Red Sea for them to cross through. And so what I'm saying to you is, is maybe there is something that has been on your heart to give into, to donate, to, you know, um, feed the homeless or whatever. And you're like, I don't really have the resources. And what I'm saying is if you begin to go, you give God the opportunity to provide for you. He gives provision on top of vision. He's like providing for you as you go. It's not let's wait until I get, but as you begin to give, as you already purposed in your heart to give, then God is going to give you the seed. He gives seed to the sower. So I want wanted to do this next episode talking about giving that in this season, like that we would change our focus and not 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 let it be that our receiving activates our giving, but our giving activates our receiving, and that we do as PT said. And we wake up and like, God, how can I be a blessing? How can I bless somebody today? And it's not all about money. It could be just a call to check on someone that might be in this season. You know, they, you know, might be a hard season for them. I know like for me and my family, you know, um, Mother's Day can be a little hard because we lost our mother, you know. And so around then it is always great to get phone calls from people that are checking in on us. We know this is a hard time and it could just be a phone call. It could be a prayer. It could be, you know, pay for somebody at Starbucks. You know, our church is doing a hat challenge and he always provides challenge where we're challenging people to go out and do something for someone. And I'm telling you, the more you give, the more you receive because you cannot be God given. And so let your giving choose to be a conduit versus a reservoir choose to be someone that is like because to be a bridge you know i always said that you know with me with touring and and as a musician i was like i would tell people i believe that god opens these doors for me musically with the endorsements with tours and stuff like that because he can trust me and i don't re i don't keep it to myself you know everything that i've i've gotten from gigs to to tours to endorsements i always tried my best to put other people on to like people that call me or look up to me or want to do those things. I'm giving them the information. I'm giving them the tools because somebody did it for me because God opened them doors for me. And now I'm going to be a bridge to get somebody else over to where I am. And I think that's what we all should be. We should all be a bridge. So let in this season, like let it let let's be a bridge, you know, let's be a bridge for someone you know, to where our giving is activating, receiving. And the more we give, the more will come to us to be a bridge, to give to someone in need, to give to someone less fortunate than us. And I'm telling you, when you do that, um, when you do that, when you do that, when you are concerned about what God is concerned about, he will be concerned about what you're concerned about. So again, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, comment, you know, let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to hear, what you would like me to talk about. Let me know if this is blessing you or whatever it may be, but don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends and your family, and we will see you again next week. God bless.